I'm Jack Bonney. I'm the public relations manager here at Visit Anchorage. We're sitting downtown in the old city hall building right next to the log cabin visitor information center. Even in a city where you've got 22 hours of functional daylight on solstice, you're going to have a rainy day in there every once in a while. Um, I think a lot of people forget that just because it's raining, you can still go outside. Um, the two that come to mind really quickly are Anchorage City Trolley Tours and the Alaska Railroad. And if you look at City Trolley Tours, it's a quick way to get down to Earthquake Park, get out to Lake Hood, and you're staying high and dry the whole time. Um, of course, the other ones that people always think of are the museums. I mean, the Anchorage Museum, you've got the Smithsonian Arctic Study Center with that great collection of native art. You have their history exhibits. You've got, you know, Sidney Lawrence paintings. Or you can watch the Northern Lights in the Planetarium in the middle of the summer. Me personally, anytime I've got somebody in town who has kids, drop them off at the Imaginarium, they're good to go. Um, the other one people, I think, should really get into is the Alaska Museum of Natural History. I mean, you've got just a whole stockpile of drawers filled with fossils, with bones, with minerals. It's the only place I can think of where you can go eye to eye with dinosaurs in Alaska. And they've got some really great geology and natural science exhibits. I think a lot of people think of the Alaska Native Heritage Center and they think about that outdoor loop. The thing that I think makes it perfect for a rainy day is you've got all of those native games demonstrations, all the song, all the dance, all the storytelling. For theater, I mean, you've got everything from Baron Raven, uh, the Aurora Show at the PAC, the Alaska Experience Theater. So even, even if you're sitting inside in a comfy theater chair, you've still got bear, you've still got northern lights, you've still got wildlife, you've still got the 1964 earthquake rumbling through your chair. Uh, the, the Alaska Veterans Museum, I think, is another small one that, that people really need to just kind of discover. Uh, down here, downtown on the 4th Avenue Marketplace, it's home to a huge collection for its size of the stories of military veterans in Alaska. Uh, down by the airport, you've got, um, you know, even if the planes aren't flying out of Lake Hood, you've still got the Alaska Aviation Heritage Museum. 1913 is actually the 100th anniversary of powered flight in Alaska, so it's a really good time to go and, and look at aviation pioneers and bush pilots. Another freebie downtown, the Alaska State Trooper Museum. We get a lot of visitors now who say, oh, I've seen the, the Alaska State Troopers on TV. Well, this is kind of the place we send them to get another look at you know, the people that are patrolling the last frontier. My end of the day, personally, um, is a little brew tour downtown. Alaska's got about 23 breweries now. That puts us at fourth most per capita of any state. Even just here in the city, we've got at least six breweries, and you better believe we can find a lot more Alaska beers than just those six as well.